Until the Major says otherwise, you're still under arrest for disobeying orders. Now get out of my way. So, you are the legendary Pale Man. I've heard so much about you. I've read one or two things about you as well. I take it you're Ash. I am. Okay, Ash. Or whoever you are. Don't move. Please. Your toy gun will have no effect upon this body. Not now that I have inhabited it. Do you really want to test that? Actually, yes. As a matter of fact, I do. Your call, then. Nox, don't... Hey, Billy, please give me a hand up so I can put this on his head. Okay. Oh, you... <clears throat> there. You can let me down now. Careful, don't fall on me. Wow, perfect. It sure is. <laughs> what a lovely hat. Uh, uh, who, who said that? <laughs> said what? I believe the snowman is... is... No, 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 it can't be. Snowman can't talk. I am... I, I am talking. <laughs> wow. Who are you? Oh, I'm Frosty, at your service. Would you like to play? I know I sure do. I can't be around long. I feel warm already. I, I, I don't believe my eyes. A talking snowman. Oh, I do more than talk. Watch me slide down this hill. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's with the surprise act, huh? Didn't you hear me coming? Between the driveway and my coughing, I woke half the town. They're already lighting torches. This is so cool. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. I need to get you to a hospital or something. Uh, hey, mister? Uh, mister? Uh, oh, no. Oh, <laughs> God, no. I was so caught up in the rush, the, the echoes, the, the raw emotions, I I didn't even try to help. I should have done something. Yes, you should have. Jordan, what are you doing? Oh, hey, hey, Carol, how's it going? Uh, I'm just uh, <laughs> uh, testing the DC-14, of course. Uh, I should be done soon, though. Hey, dinner and a movie later? Hal, this isn't a throttle test. You're going to overheat. Back your unit down now. Okay, okay, you're right. I'm sorry, Carol. How about we just start with dinner then, and then we'll see where it goes from there. What do you say? <laughs> shut up and shut it down. We cannot afford to lose this test unit. Just a little bit further. Engine temp is in the red. Coolant levels are dropping. Oh, Jordan! Almost there! Virtual speed is approaching this unit's cap! Uh-oh. <laughs> You're on to me. Jordan! Oh, see! He, see, he's passing the previous rating now! And he still hasn't hit the unit's boiling point! Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! Hey, I told you she could handle it. Alright, back at her down now. And, uh, oh, hey, Carol, I'll pick you up at six. No, this dark father. If it were up to me, I would rip your throat out. I would delight in watching you bleed. Because of you, many of my noble ancestors died. But my Alpha has decreed we are to aid you. And so, I obey. His heart has stopped beating completely. Hand me a cardio stimulator. If we can't get it going again, he'll be dead in seconds. How bad is it, Doctor? Very. He was exposed to space vacuum for far too long. Due to the extreme cold, even if he does survive, he will still have to amputate one of his arms and both legs. The damage is too extreme to repair. Cordrazine, now! Here you go, Doctor. Any change? No. I'm gonna try to... I'm sorry, Captain. I'm afraid his injuries were far too extensive. There was very little I could do for him. I don't question nothing around here. I just do my work and keep my mouth shut. Dig up the time capsule, take out the screws, bring it to the auditorium, they says, and that's what I do. Weren't you the least bit curious? I don't get curious, Sonny. 
That's how I've been here for 20 years. I'm telling you two, I've seen some stuff in my time here that would make your hair curl. Really? Not with Mrs. Conlon, if she's a nice lady, but I've seen some real shenanigans going on between some of the students and the male teachers. Disgraceful, that's what it is. The whole world's going to hell. Uh, Ruby, Jim Klein? Yes? How is our daughter? Well, we found a lot of internal bleeding, but we think we stopped it. Oh, thank goodness. However, um, I, I have to be honest with you both. She's still not out of the woods yet. Uh, she has a broken right leg, uh, right about here, and a, a massive concussion. It's what we call cerebral edema, but also known as swelling of the brain. Uh, our biggest concern now is that. Uh, we removed part of her skull uh, you know, to give uh, the brain room to expand and, and hopefully prevent damaging or destroying the brain stem. Uh, we have that in a solution until the swelling goes down, but I'm afraid that there's still a chance she could have some brain damage. Or, I'm, I'm truly sorry. Right now, she's still unconscious. When will she come to? My uh, my best answer is we simply just don't know. Uh, we're going to move her to ICU, and as soon as we have her settled in, uh, you'll be allowed to go visit her. I'll have the nurse come in and let you know. Is there anything we can do? Uh, no. Really, it's up to her now. So, in other words, we have to get past a heavily guarded Stargate, onto a planet filled with armies of Apophis, and back out again? Indeed. Piece of cake. Very big cake. You know, w with chocolate. I never did like that cliché. Sir, every minute we stay here, Apophis is going to put more guards on the Stargate. Rachno and I from the south. Uh, I am supposed to be in command here, you know. <sighs> West it is. Captain Carter? Sir? How many grenades? Two, sir. Might as well soften them up. Just don't blow the DHD. Jack, what do you want me to do? How about not getting shot? Right. With his record, that might be more difficult than it sounds. <laughs> sir? They have us surrounded. You have come too late. Master yeah. Bratak and I have Yeah, definitely need that chocolate coating right about now. 